Hi folks. So guess what's different about this scope? Yes, you guessed it. It's missing a knob. So this is, um, this is the, uh, ZWO EAF mounted on, uh, Explore Scientific ED102 CF. And, uh, I couldn't find anything, uh, about mounting this, uh, um, like on YouTube, but uh, I did see a me some mentions of it on um, Cloudy Night, and they said simply they had to put longer screws. And uh, yeah, I found that to be the case. So um, even though I, ZWO doesn't say that it, it fits the uh, Explorer Scientific, uh, this is your basic two inch Crayford. Um, it seems to fit almost like it was made for it. And uh, I think the reason is because they they talk about brackets for special brackets for fitting a couple of other scopes, but in in fact you don't need anything special for this one at all. So um, it's very easy to mount. Um, I can tell you a little bit uh, how that's done, and um, one thing I, you can see here maybe is that I have it upside down. I, I have it on I'm going along the top of my scope, and, and the reason why is because I'm probably going to put it away in the case that way. Uh, that that way the the uh, the motor comes uh, towards the center of the case, and uh, I can put this inside of the the case that came with it uh, without uh, any hassles. So uh, the mounting procedure is pretty simple. The first thing you have to do is undo the set screw on the other side, on the coarse knob on the other side. And uh, it's just like this one here. And uh, that, that will, the knob will come right off. And then um, the, I had to get these, these screws. These are uh, 16 millimeter lang long, but they're M4 uh, machine. They're like M4 me metric. Uh, machine screws and uh, they're 16 millimeter long and uh, so that's not you don't usually get them that long uh, at least not the normal part and um, these are not very good ones but I'm going to replace them with good ones when I when I get them uh, I have them on order but these are the ones I could get at the local hardware store and uh, so um, all you have to do is loosen up the three screws that were there but and this whole assembly here will come off so you want to you have to kind of hold it in place as you mount this other stuff um you have to and and you kind of have to uh, mount everything at once because you can't really uh you can temporarily uh, uh secure the screws but you have to leave everything loose all screws in locations including these ones here until everything is kind of together and then you uh, then you can start uh, uh, making the like uh, securing the screws uh, once everything is kind of in place. And uh, this one here is my nor my locking screw that's normally in the middle. And uh, I what used to be in this hole is the tension adjuster. So I removed the tension adjuster. And I took the locking screw and put the locking screw into the tension adjuster spot because the locking screw is long. So I have my regular, uh, this came with, this is adjusting the tensioner. And you don't need the locking screw because the motor locks it. You can't, you can't move this with the motor on. And um, so all you really need is uh, these three screws and uh, take them off of the, and this will become loose. Put these new three screws that are longer, 16 millimeter, and these screws come with the ZWO, and and so does this coupler. And you you mount that all loosely, and then once it's all together, you can start uh, tightening it up. And um, so uh, I even had this in as well, so make sure that everything is uh, not binding and. Uh, and once that's all uh, together loosely, you can start tightening those screws. And uh, um, so that's just to show you that uh, it's a fairly easy job and that uh, I tested it out too, and it's working. And 
like uh, you, you know it's kind of you kind of a uh, nervous to try this but uh, in fact it was pretty easy